You know what, guys? I'm thinking about it, I'm calling an audible. Doublets gang. Grublet's gang. gang. We're going to Grublet's gang, baby. Let's do it. So I'm gonna film this entire op, you know, like I do, and uh, then I'll do my commentary, and yeah, we're the, today's a gang video. I didn't know it was going to be a gang video, but I'm just feeling it in my heart that today is a perfect day to do a gang video. So, stand by, let's get that pulled up. Alright, so this is Smoky Crab. You know the rule, main team members kind of get just glossed over and sped over. And a lot of these attacks, I'm going to tell you right up front, a lot of them were very short and very pointless. That doesn't mean they were bad. You never heard me say the word bad. Just, you know, you're a bunch. there's a lot of low levels over here. Whatever. I would like to tell you a story. Because y'all are my friends. And we tell our story, we still tell our stories to our friends, right? So here's a story about my beautiful, beautiful wife. So my wife is an overnight dispatcher. For the police department and the sheriff's department. She's technically a member, uh, she technically is a member of the sheriff's department. The dispatch department falls under the sheriff's department in this county. So anyway, uh, last night she got into a fight. Yeah, yeah, with one of her co-workers and it got bad, son. Okay, it was technically two nights ago, but we don't want to get too lost in the sauce. So she's, uh, <laughs> the shortest version of the story is one of her co-workers, a, uh, a very young, skinny, mini, princessy female. And I love females, but, uh, you know, some of them just, you know, they're just, they're just young. They, you know, they need some more time to develop, right? That's this young lady. She, uh... This, she's kind of taken a disliking towards my wife because my wife is quite frankly amazing at everything and when you're quite comfortable with being the princess of the department and then here comes you know my wife the real life boom bitch Angie master of everything and she is and if you ever met her you'll be like oh wow she really is um when she comes along into the department and starts you know spreading her wings and taking thing taking off this young lady was definitely not feeling it right. Not feeling it at all. So, uh, the, uh, two nights ago, it came to a head. Okay? And during some calls, and I have to leave details out for legal purposes, but there were some uh, important life-saving calls that came into the department. And this young lady decided to throw a little tantrum and not do her part to help my wife, Angela, get the job done and handle the calls. And it just, it was getting, it was getting bad. And eventually my wife just snapped and turned and looked at her and was like, you are acting like a child, screaming at her. It's like, you are acting like a child. Like we are literally trying to save lives here. And you're over there just, you know, being a Rudy poop toot, right? And, uh, the little young lady, she did not like being called a Rudy Poot Toot. And I don't blame her, but, hey, when you're being a Rudy Poot Toot, sometimes you just gotta get called a Rudy Poot Toot. And this young lady, while taking a 911 call on a recorded line, this young lady then decides to call in the boss of the department. While taking this, uh, th this call, this call. So she, essentially she was ignoring the 911 call in order to call in the boss. <clears throat> so she calls in the boss thinking, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, thinking that the boss is going to show up, you know, and take princess's side. And cause everyone takes princess's side, right? And the boss came in and essentially, uh, reprimanded 
young skinny manny and uh essentially gave my wife a promotion and, <laughs> and but during that altercation and this is the part that are is just funny to me so as a part of their responsibilities there is a, a the helicopter department and their job is to just sit there and wait for something bad to happen worthy of sending a, a life-saving helicopter and there's there's a direct line you pick up the phone line automatically con connects to the helicopter department mm -hmm. the uh young lady took the phone off the hook to call the life-saving helicopter and then proceeded to have a fit while still on the phone and she just placed the phone down at the side and then this argument happens and this escalation happens and the Rudy Poot toots and the childish and blah 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 and all of that stuff and it's like it's getting heavy in there and finally when the boss arrives he takes young young princess into the office <laughs> and that's when Angela realized that the phone to the helicopter department has been off the hook this whole time, which means the helicopter department could hear everything that was being said in the call center. So, all of it, every single thing that my wife said to that young lady, they heard. They heard all of it. And it's a small county that I'm in. Let me make that clear. Well, the city we're in is population 9,178. That's not an exaggeration. The county total, maybe 30,000 people. Maybe. You know, it's hard to keep track. There's a lot of small, pointless cities. <laughs> so it's a small area. Well, now the helicopter department knows about the argument that's happening. And apparently, the helicopter department then starts calling all of their deputy friends. It was like, man, y'all won't even believe what I'm hearing in the dispatch department. So the word's out, right? So Angela goes to work yesterday, you know, still feeling kind of crunchy about the whole situation. Still feeling like, uh, I don't know, am I going to get fired? Am I going to get in trouble? You know, I did call her Rudy Poot Toot Toot. Um, but ultimately, she got to work and she received a standing ovation because everybody in the department was feeling like calling her Rudy Poot Toot Toot. And nobody had the guts to do it for reasons. And Angela just let her have it. And everybody, including all the bosses, all the supervisors, they went through the calls, they went through the call log, they went through the data, and everything Angela was saying turned out to be 100% accurate and verifiable. And so they were all on her side. So I want y'all, you know, the people, some of my teammates have actually known the real life Boom Bitch Angie, so I know that they're, you know, hearing this story with pride. So I'm like, wow, go Angie, go. Uh, <laughs> but one of the uh, sheriff deputies comes in and he walks in he goes right up to Angela and it's like so uh, I heard something happened last night Angela's like what? what happened? All right, well of course Angela's like yeah yeah it happened but her question specifically was how did you hear about it? and the deputy says oh you don't understand honey everybody has heard about it. Now, we don't have all the details, but everybody in Johnson County knows that you told Princess she was a Rudy Poot Toot Toot. And we love you for it. Everybody, it's just, it's nuts. It was just silly. I know I'm not doing a great job of telling the story. I just, y'all are my friends, and I have no friends, like physical human friends other than my brother. And uh, this is, I just wanted to be able to tell y'all that I'm very proud of her. She has done brilliant at this job. She is killing it. Uh, she's getting a promotion. Uh, they're going to send her to a, a, a college course. And at the end of it, she'll technically be an official law enforcement officer. Now, she won't be a cop. Let me make that clear. She won't be out there on patrol carrying a gun around. But legat in terms of legat legalities... She will be a law enforcement officer at the end of it. She's brilliant at spreadsheets. She's brilliant at digital stuff. She's brilliant at multitasking. She's just brilliant and always has been. That's why I married the woman. So um, 
yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know if this was the best place to tell that story, but again, you know, this is the only time that I have y'all, have y'all's undivided attention. So I just really wanted y'all to know that I'm proud of my lovely lady. She's killing it. Everybody loves her. Give her two years in the, de in the department. She may be running this county. Who knows? All right, cool. Well, I'm going to wrap that part of the story up. Just thank y'all for hearing me and don't judge me too much for loving my lovely lady. She is amazing. And uh, if y'all ever got a chance to meet her, know her, and be a part of her life, y'all would think she is amazing as well. So this whole time, the attacks have just been happening. Uh, I, As we saw, if you're paying attention, well, as I said earlier, a lot of the attacks were just kind of short and pointless. That's okay. Keep attacking, guys. Just keep attacking. There's going to come a day when it's all going to come together and you're going to look around at each other, at your fellow teammates, and you're going to realize, like, holy shit, well, we're pretty strong. Like, we kind of, we, we did the growing pains. And right now, that's what you are doing. And there's nothing we can do to speed it up. I could give you a thousand tips of advice and you're still going to be stuck on the fact that a lot of you are just low-level players. And that's okay. You know, everybody's got to start out as a, out as a low-level player. So it's okay. But we're hitting, getting into the last couple of attacks. I just want you all to know that I think all of you are brilliant. I think all of you are really just you are kicking ass. So many attacks. So many attackers have, are attacking regularly. Like at any given time, about, you know... 20 to 30 of y'all are consistently consistently attacking it is summertime you can expect the numbers are going to drop a little bit summertime in the northern hemisphere um you know a lot of people go on vacation a lot of people spend time with their families so don't stress too much about it just know that you are kicking ass it's all going to come together for you that's a grublet guarantee well, all right team that was great uh, again, don't worry about the fact that y'all lost the op. It doesn't matter. We're just working on building that culture. Getting everybody on the attack train. Getting everybody to attack regularly. It'll all sort out. It's all going to smooth out. <clears throat> so, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this op. It was fairly simple. You know, keeping it editing to a minimum. You know, y'all you know, got to hear my story about my wife and what she was up to at work these past couple of days because it got wild but uh yeah man don't mess with the real life boom bitch angie i suppose that's the uh that's the message of that that's the moral of that story all right friends i want to thank y'all so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me grublets gang I freaking love y'all man y'all are killing it y'all are killing it just love what y'all are doing over here y'all are working on growing so many attackers everybody's having a good time i really want to get to know all of you they're uh yeah man like y'all are awesome i think you every one of y'all are awesome uh, when i scroll y'all's chat i see it's very active everybody's having a lot of fun everybody is a lot of chit chats it's fun stuff you guys are killing it all right so y'all be proud of yourselves doesn't matter what your opt is doesn't matter you're working on it. You're working on it. Within a month, most of the active players that started this team as very low-level team t players, most of y'all are going to be in the 30s to 40s range. And once that happens, oh man, you know, you'll, you'll be off to the races. I promise you. All right, I'm wrapping this video up. Thank y'all so much for taking the time to hang out with me, and I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Thank you.